there are a few more things I want to tell about the statue of this King William II. First of all, he didn't spoke a word Dutch. That's one thing. He's, he was fluent in English and German, British English, you know, but Dutch? He could barely speak a word Dutch. Secondly, um, during his reign there was a famine, so people weren't quite happy at the time. He was married to a Russian princess, because his former fiancée left him for some prince from, from another part of Germany. By the way, he's from Ger he was from German descent also. And one of his sons, you know, had, uh, was offered the Kingdom of Greece, but he refused, mostly under the advice of him over there, or else he would have a Dutch-Greek royal house today. Oh, there are the cops. You know, they're trying to scare people again. Well, we're walking in and out over there. Again, the uh, 12 flags of the 12 provinces of the Netherlands. Look, why am I showing the statue of this devil worshiper here? Let me be clear about it. This guy didn't accept the gospel. This guy over here, well, it's not really him, it's a statue of him, but it refers to him. The William II, he rejected the gospel. He didn't believe upon Jesus Christ for his salvation. He was a pagan, a Freemason. He was practicing witchcraft, also magic. And, well, he may have a statue over here. Well, this thing will pass away soon, this installation. And he will have a monument in the lake of fire who will burn forever and ever together with all those demons he worships. You see, I am showing you this because this is what fame is all about. Fame is basically necromancy. Fame is desiring to be, to be worshipped when you're dead. That's why during your lifetime famous people want to, want to accomplish so many stuff so that when they die, because they know they will die, people will always remember them. It's necromancy. 